Interview Angel Colon Managing Director at NY Capital Management Group and in Toro, Part 3. So Angel, uh, what is the studies and career that you would uh, advise students to follow in order to get where you are or in the industry where, where you are? Well, as I, as I mentioned earlier before we had started was that what led me to my path back then is not the same path that people are taking yeah. nowadays, right? Because things change, interests change and stuff like that. Technology comes into play. So for me, I was in, uh, I did a bachelor's of science in international business, okay. a minor in economics and languages. So when I went to school, um, to St. John Fisher College at the time, it's now a university, it's grown, the school's grown tremendously. I got a full scholarship to the school and they gave me the opportunity to travel. Aside from that, let me not disparage, I did apply to NYU in Columbia, yes, yes, and no, they didn't give me, NYU gave me a partial scholarship, Clint is like, screw you, yeah. <laughs> we're not helping you. Uh, but I did, I, I actually ended up going to a full scholarship school and they gave me the opportunity to travel overseas. So in my sophomore year, because I had came in with enough college credits, because in America, if you are in high school, you can take AP classes, you can take all these other uh, programs, summer programs. So by the time I got to college, I was already a, a semester and a half well, ahead of everyone. Pretty good. So I, and then because I went to school in Rochester, if you know Rochester, it's a lot of bad weather, it snows, there's yeah. underground tunnels to get to classes and stuff like that. Um, I overloaded on classes because I took 18 credits instead of 15 credits because it was easy. Okay. You know, you took night classes, it's once a week. Yeah. It was so so many things that you can get around. And the thing about America is um, you you can bend but don't break. So, so you can just do as much as you can to get loopholes or whatever, just work the system. So I worked the system to basically graduate a year early. I went to Holland in my sophomore year. To the Netherlands, I worked at the Free University there. I got an internship there um, in the uh, linguistics department. So I was able to uh, pick up, it's Ik praat in Nederlands. So I speak Dutch a little bit, right? Okay, you do. Um, along with Spanish, Italian, some, Brazil, uh, some Portuguese as well. Um, then in my senior year, I was able to go to uh, University of Salzburg. Okay. I went to Richmond College in London, and then I graduated. Um, okay. And then after that- So easy, right? Uh, yeah, no, <laughs> no, no, not I mean, easy at all. I'm just joking. It's it's a lot, you know. And you just said it, you know. You just accumulated things, and since you uh, want to do fast things, yeah, you, know, you did. No, no I, I think I think is if you are able you. to focus, yeah, your ability to just say, hey, this is what we're gonna do. Sure. So the problem with mental health these days, which is a huge topic out there, and a lot of people are suffering from depression. And everything. I don't know. I can't sympathize. I can't empathize because I don't know what depression is. But what I see is, is when people are overwhelmed because they have too many things, it's just simple. Just take one thing at a time. Mm -hmm. Do that, take it out. Do that, take it out. And by the time everything, everything clutter. Yeah. And always do what you can today. Never leave anything for tomorrow because tomorrow has its own problems. Yeah. Is what I would say. Very good. Yeah. And that's okay. it. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Angel. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you.